the membranes of the dendrites, the synapses, are about 80% lipid. And fats are now known to be as important for life as our proteins and our genes. And that's a pretty strong statement, but it's based on a lot of current research. And there's a new book out called Life is a Matter of Fat by uh, Ole Mortensen, and it's excellent going into this topic in more detail. This is just a graphic, obviously, of the neuron and the dendrites off of the neuron. And we can see the myelin sheath, which is actually very protective around the axon. And I bring that to your attention because the um, cell membranes, as I mentioned, are primarily made out of lipids. So when we are testing the fatty acids, we can actually do a test by Johns Hopkins University, and it's the Kennedy Krieger Institute lab, that can tell us whether or not a patient is demyelinating. And that is powerful information. I recently had a case, and I'm going to be presenting this case study uh, at the end here of this uh, webinar, but the patient had many, many uh, different areas that were showing Brain, her brain being uh, in the uh, the myelin being demyelinated. So the the fatty acid tests from Johns Hopkins University can can actually give us that information. And this, of course, is um, a schematic of the uh, cell. And you can see the membrane around the cell, and then there's other membranes that are going on inside the cell. But the cell membrane actually is so important because all the nutrients go through the cell membrane, all the toxins go out of the cell membrane, and so it really needs to be functioning extremely well. We are only as healthy as our cell membranes are. And here is showing the phospholipids, the phosphatidylcholine. We can see the proteins embedded into the, the cell wall here, the cell membrane, um, this being the inside and that, you know, obviously the outside. And we will see cholesterol. Cholesterol actually gives uh, strength and structure to the cell membrane wall. Otherwise, the fats would uh, make it almost liquid and not being able to uh, be in a formed, uh, a formed pattern here for it to do the work that it does. This is another uh, uh, graphic of the cell wall, and then a piece of the cell wall actually shown uh, as it's divided here. But you can see the inner leaf, the outer leaf, the carbohydrate chains. Uh, and actually, it's interesting that some of the pharmaceutical drugs now are making their drugs with receptor sites on them that can actually hook to the receptors on the cell wall so that the drug has longer-lasting effects. 